Hello! Hey, what's up, people? We're Suffice. We're live in our funk bunker in a secret location. <laughs> Um, right, well, we are from, well, we kind of grew up around uh, Surrey in Hampshire, um, but sort of, I'm living in London now, and these boys are living in Geford, Guildford. Just outside Compton. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. And um, our background is, we're sort of, myself and Rory here, this guy, um, we're, we've been kind of like musicians for a while, and sort of session musicians and things, and playing as a rhythm section together for loads of bands, but... We kind of started this little project just as um, something for us to feel more satisfied about because we both had a sort of a love for hip hop and just um, anything with decent funk kind of soul grooves. Uh, so we sort of started this little project up. But then we needed a rapper to make us actually a hip hop band. Um, and that's where we found Jack here, um, who was originally Suffice Words, who we stole the name from. And um, and he donated it. No, I didn't steal it. Didn't Shared steal it. it. We didn't, <laughs> we didn't <laughs> steal it. <laughs> so, so for about a year, we've been um, mucking about and writing stuff in this funk bunker, and um, and now we're kind of ready to get out there. I was gonna do this quick. I'll give it a tour. This is the tour. Oh yeah! Welcome <laughs> to the fat cave. It's the drum area. Keys, keys, and, and then studio. Just keys, open doors. Little, keys, keys, open doors. Keys, open doors. Recording bit just for the demos and all that. It's nothing much, but it does the job. Nothing much. Uh, we're pretty lucky. Nothing much. Yeah, we're blessed. Yeah, we're really lucky. Um, so next question. All right. In terms of both music and lyrics, who or what inspires the songwriting? Well, it's a bit of everything, really. I mean, obviously, we've got a bit of a love for the hip hop and the R&B and those kind of urban and soul grooves. But, I mean, I wouldn't pigeonhole us just to that, man. I mean, I'm personally from, like, a, you know, background of jazz and soul and funk and all that kind of stuff. Lush harmony, nice chords, a big fat groove, anything that's got that going on. So Steely Dan, um, all that old school stuff. Then we're, you know, we're on top of what's happening right now. We love the Kendrick Lamar, and we love all that kind of stuff that's popping off at the moment. So we're just jumping on all kinds of things. What inspires the lyrics? I mean, that's for you, man. Um, lyrics are mainly... I love wordplay. So, taking, you know, anything that inspires us on a day-to-day -day basis, situations that we talk about, things that I've experienced. Um, yeah, just anything, really. Just life, to be honest. I know that sounds really kind of generic, but it really is. And, um, and sometimes just fun wordplay, you know, if something... It, yeah, just I think just keeping it keeping it fun some of the time is what I would say. What is the um, what track on the EP means most to you? Um, to me, probably, probably left or right. It means the most to me, definitely. Yeah. Um, and I think the, to you. My, I mean, well, I was going to talk about favorite performance ones, mm. really. Because I mean, yeah, yeah. Well, that's different. Because yeah, yeah. he's more about the lyrics, obviously, and me, I just like to hit stuff. But uh, <laughs> one of my favorite ones to play is, um, I think, "On the Run" is actually mm. best for me to play because I'm like being a proper monkey doing it. It's quite hard to uh, coord coordination. Johnny likes a challenge, don't like you? <laughs> yeah, he's not normal. Yeah, he um, plays keys and drums and things at the same time. Rory, it's something up with this boy. For me. <laughs> uh, I would say Velvet is just the first song we wrote uh, it was like a watershed moment when we had Jack in this room for the first time uh, and it's the first thing we played he started just improvising some words and we laid down a groove on the spot yeah. and within about half an hour we had our first tune and it just felt pretty damn good for him yeah. I mean just going on what I said Velvet's probably the favourite to perform and then Left or right, just because it means something to me. Um, but yeah, to be honest, if you get our mixtape, you'll probably like them all. They're all really quite hit ski, I think. Yeah, and they've all got good hooks and good. They've singing. all got their own thing but, going uh, on. I like to be yeah, something for individual. Everybody. Nearly everybody, definitely. The next one is: What are our best and our worst moments on stage? 
Rory, really do you want to start this one? I hate when someone farts on stage. Yeah. Uh, Any time anyone farts on stage. <laughs> <laughs> not not mm. pointing any fingers. Um, but yeah, there's no escape. You, you have to just downplay it like nothing's happened. You've got nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. It gets pretty <laughs> rotten up there. <laughs> John T? Uh, the worst, yeah, the worst is when you invite a... Uh, drunk girl on stage thinking it's a good idea to like get playing tambourine and then she plays so out of time that you literally feel like you can't even play in time yourself that's the worst <laughs> but can we talk about the best we're being yeah. very negative about this mm. right. best what's been the best moment on stage for you best moment on stage for me actually probably when we went to bali and performed oh. at in uluwatu a friend of ours owns a very cool bar up on uh up in um in Uluwatu and um packed it was absolutely packed in yeah there. and we weren't even meant to we, were, we weren't there to like do loads of shows we ended up getting booked for a bunch of shows and um it's just amazing the vibe was great people were just I mean we had people on top of us um it, people were so close uh I literally my keyboard was the only thing to stop people from getting any closer and while I was playing I could just see people's hands just appearing and just playing my keyboard for me. Like, well, obviously not knowing what they were doing, but just like playing yeah. it from the other way. That was just hilarious. And I think the combination of that and literally having um, the waves break behind. Oh, the us. location of Vincent and, amazing. And yeah. people Perched in, in these cliffs and sunsets, and you've got these breaks coming in. Insane. Yeah. Anyway, big up Ty. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, single fun. fin. If you're in Bali, go there. It's wicked. But we, we've done lots of cool things, but. That is one of the best ones. The next question is if we could be a member of a hip hop group, any classic hip hop group, which one would it be like at any if moment we, in if time? We could be, oh, if we could be a member? Yeah. Okay, cool. So if um, you could be in any group or if you can could I be Can I jump rapper, in with this one? Yeah. All right, on. just there's loads of cool, obviously, like groups that I would love to be in, you know, Outcast and uh, The Roots and stuff, but I'm actually not going to mention them. I would like to be in Run DMC. Oh, because <laughs> they just completely switched up the game. They were the first hip hop rock. I mean, they 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 smashed it. You know, they played yeah. like they just switched up the flavor. I think for me, and I think they changed a lot. They got the big endorsement with Adidas. Like they really switched it up. I think they're quite revolutionary. Yeah, I and am EMC, gonna, I'm going there. I am going to mention the roots. I'd love to be on the roots. Go on, but as one they of us were like, like back in 1995. <laughs> like what you know, member, I though? think anyone could be in the roots. What member now. of the roots though would you have wanted to be? Oh, anyone's member. Because Rory uh, plays everything. I love so all I like... their members. <laughs> <laughs> he loves um, all their members. Yeah, I'd love Hub. I want to be on the bass in the Roots. Yeah, and the bass. They, to be we... fair, they have a white guy on the bass in the Roots now. Yeah, they have no, white so. people. So, Quest, if you're watching, <laughs> send me an application for them. It'd be wicked. Times are changing. But... <laughs> yeah. My favourite would be to have been the drummer for Rage Against the Machine. That would have been... Technically a hip hop band, but we'll I let think, you have that. I'm going to call it. Yeah, let's <laughs> rap. Let's <laughs> rap. I'll give him that. Yeah, um, man. There's rap. There's if you rap, and there's a hip hop. The and Renegades a, album is a hip hop. Yeah, song, and yeah. it's exactly the kind of thing that I like. We'll let him just, just <laughs> It's like hip hop, but smashing it. So yeah. Um, next one is this is a really really hard question, and we've been asked to try and give you three songs that we wish we had written. Um, and we had a little argument. Yeah, well, we, we've actually been arguing for a while about it. Um, Rory came up I, with... I <laughs> wish I'd written Happy Birthday. I was watching a programme the other day. It's the most profitable song of all time. Yeah. So, that's one. That uh, is, that is otherwise, one. Yesterday is pretty wicked. Something like that. You know, that just like manages to affect everybody. Everyone can relate to it. Uh, just some moment of genius like that that would have been a pleasure to be involved with. Boys? Me probably um, there's a lot of Michael Jackson stuff that I love. Um, Michael Jackson, Man in the Mirror, maybe. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's quite. I was so funny. They were all arguing because I chose a Christmas song. Yeah, we can't <laughs> have Happy Birthday <laughs> and a Christmas song. <laughs> <laughs> it would look like a bunch of gay boys. Uh, but I really like. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. I think everyone can relate to that. And that's <laughs> I can't. How well, many white Christmas? I'm sure even little I'm Africans are dreaming of white Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> no, it just it's just a real set, like just a just a nice kind of cozy sounding song, and like obviously it's timeless. That will keep being played in a hundred years time. Anyway, 
Moving on. 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 Uh, Next one, going completely from that. We didn't actually choose the hip hop there song, as you noticed. Uh, We've got to decide if we're East Coast or West Coast. Yeah, so that is East. You are. That means East. You are. Um, Yay! I'm West. Oh, that was a West with a thumb. I know what that means. (laughs) (laughs) So, yeah, that's our view on that. And then. uh, What are our next plans? Well, or, or that we're most excited about? Oh, we're excited about the launch of our mixtapes. The first recordings we've been able to put out to you guys. Uh, the mixtape's called Late for Soundcheck. Um, which will be out by the time you see this. Yes, it's out on the 1st of October, which is in the future for us, but it's in the past for you guys, so it's out. Uh, it's got 10 tracks on it. And it's free. And it's free. Um, yeah, you can find it on our website, sufficeofficial.com. Or on the Facebook, just search Suffice, you'll find us. Um, there's a link there, you submit your email, we send it to you, and it costs no money. So that's a win. That's what we're excited about. Mm-hmm. Well, thanks for having us. Thank you. Thanks for putting up with this terrible interview. <laughs> Sorry, we're talking, to, we're reading off here yeah. and talking to this. And later on, we've all had a bit of wine. So. Peace, love, and power, man. Oh, big up Super Stead, man. Yeah, um, Super Stead is on the record, the show, man. Young, man. Look out for his um, look out for his band. They're called Eighty Three Classic. Classic, and um, big up everyone who's helped us on this project because there's been a lot of love. Sam spe- Garner, Cameron, Specimen A, shout outs. All right, peace. Later.